Hi, I'm Nicholas Lin, author of the cookbook Bachelor's Banquet and Restaurateur. And I'm Zach, I'm the chef sommelier for the Les Amis Group. Today we have a special guest. Hi, I'm Nicole Chen, I'm a model DJ and I'm excited to be here with you guys. Thank you. So Nicole, what we have for you today is a very nice bacon egg risotto where we are using egg yolks to add that extra creaminess to the overall dish. So what are we drinking the risotto with? Where I come in, uh, we've got here a Ferris's Blanc Sauvignon Blanc from Adelaide Hills uh, coming from Australia. Uh, slightly warmer than your more renowned wine making regions in, in Europe. Right, so we're going to get much riper fruit, a lot of nice rich guavas over here, a very nice refreshing acidity to complement the risotto. Great, let's try some wine, Zach. Sauvignon Blanc's a great variety, it's actually very um, versatile, it's grown all over the world actually. It's very refreshing, it, it doesn't smell tart at all, it doesn't smell, it's not very overpowering, it's still very fruit driven. Have a try, okay. please. Cheers. Cheers. So Nicole, should we get started cooking? Yes. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Go. So today we're going to make a risotto with bacon and eggs. We're going to use the eggs in place of the multitude of cheese. This is going to make the risotto extra creamy. So what, what we have is a hot pan, the vegetable broth, and our ingredients. Olive oil, our diced onions, and our diced celery. And I'm going to use a metal spoon. We're using a metal spoon because I do not have a spatula. It's because I forgot to bring one. You don't want to get any colour onto these vegetables. What you want to do is you just want to make them a little bit translucent. Now, boro rice gives very starchy quality to the risotto. Alright, what you want to do is you want to coat every single grain of rice with a little bit of oil. Some of the rice grains are turning a little bit translucent on the side. That is the time to add in the wine. Dump in the entire glass of wine. And when it has reduced, we're going to add in a little bit of this vegetable stuff and let the grains of rice absorb. Okay, so Nicole, at this stage, the risotto is almost done. It's very al dente. I'm gonna switch off the heat, knob of butter, temper in about two egg yolks. And don't worry that it's a raw egg. The residual heat from the pan and the risotto is going to cook. And the final step, Nicole, is we're going to have to grate in some cheese. So, can you help me out here? What you want to do is you want to get a little bit of the breadcrumbs into the risotto and you want to get the lemon zest as well into the risotto and eat it while it's hot, which is right now. Okay, okay, so, so let's just get it in. So how we, like, we normally do in wine pairing is that while you're chewing on uh, the food item, uh, when you're halfway done, actually mix a bit of wine together with your risotto and chew it together. It will alter the flavours of your dish. What do you think? It's actually different from most risottos. Why is that so? So I was living in New York at the time and I felt like bacon and egg. So I had some risotto in the fridge and I decided to temper in an egg yolk and I was like, wow, that actually works really, really well. So Nicole, will we be seeing you at Wine Fiesta this year? Yes, definitely. Okay, and we'll be seeing you at Wine Fiesta too. 